The full moon phenomenon occurs when the Earth is exactly between the Sun and the Moon. This orientation allows the entire side of the Moon that faces us to shine with sunlight. As the Moon revolves around the Earth, the angle at which sunlight hits the Moon's surface and is reflected back to Earth changes. This creates the different phases of the Moon. November's full moon appears a little larger than usual, which is why it's called a supermoon. Supermoons occur when the full moon coincides with the moon being at the point in its orbit within 90% of its closest approach to Earth, called perigee. November's supermoon will be the last of four supermoons in a row this year. November's full moon is known as the beaver moon, but there are many alternative names. The Algonquin call it moon of much white frost on grass, while the Kalapuya in the Pacific Northwest say moon of moving inside for winter. The November full moon is also known as the frost moon due to the increasingly cold conditions prevalent in the northern hemisphere. Like many of the names we give to the full moons, the beaver moon has its origins on the, the other side of the Atlantic, being used by Native Americans. There are two different theories as to why the name was chosen, with some thinking it is a cow November is the time that beavers would be caught in traps by the Native Americans keen to stock up on meat for the long winter months to come. Others think it is because November is when the mammals construct their winter dams. The next full moon will occur on Friday, November 15, 2024. This phase comes about 15 days after the new moon at the approximate midpoint of the lunar cycle 29.5 days. Technically, it is only considered full in one specific day. No matter how full the moon appears, it waxes and wanes before and after. When the moon is full, it appears as a perfect circle in the sky. Because the moon doesn't produce its own light, this can only happen when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. This means that the entire side of the moon that faces the sun is fully illuminated. Each full moon is calculated to occur at a precise time, which may or may not be close to the time the moon rises in your location. So when the full moon rises it usually occurs a few hours before or after the actual time when it is technically full, but the casual sky observer won't notice the difference. In fact, the moon often looks nearly identical on two consecutive nights before and after a full moon.